This is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you for joining me. We are doing the numerology and astrology for the 22nd of July, 2022. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 17. And if you add the 1 and the 7 together, you get the number 8. The number 8 is a number of grief, loss, and sadness. It's also a number that is about expanding one's capacity in order to bring in more money and more life force. But uh, in order to do that, you oftentimes have to confront the darker emotions in the lower chakras because money and power and fame live and reside in the lower chakras. And so one has to learn to navigate those, work with those, harness those, accept those, embrace those in healthy, safe, and constructive ways in order for financial um, manifestations to manifest in mature ways that positively impact rather than negatively impact. So today with the number eight, we can be use this number for the expansion also of the light from the acceptance of those deeper emotions. And that is my suggestion and focus for today. Wisdom comes from integrating messages in constructive and safe ways to support our experiences that will help us find those places of inner knowing. The number eight can be a breath of fresh air. It can help us recenter in times of stress. It can remind us to feel confident when the discomfort pushes us against the edges of our known reality. While everyone has weaknesses, it is best to not feed them, but instead feed those parts within that have a light to shine on others. Let go of the pain that burdens your heart and soul, then have compassion for those that continue the patterns of suffering. While one can see those patterns, often we cannot help until that soul is willing to allow in the truth that is being blocked by the ego and the wounding. The astrology for today. We enter into the cycle of Leo today and this playful sunshine supports us in being more dynamic and engaged. It is time to have some fun. Expressing our individuality is more important. We want to shine brightly and stand out from the crowd. Let that light within you out. Let the excitement bring interesting things into your world. Keep the attitude of gratitude as the focus. It will help channel this complex and powerful energy. Make sure to move this forceful astrology in constructive ways. It, this is not the time to be selfish or arrogant. The moon in Taurus supports a patient mood and a benevolent Demeter. Payless, which is an asteroid, will begin to sextile Jupiter, and that makes us feel more optimistic in many ways. Notice the pictures that are forming in your mind and reach for as much goodness as is possible right now. Hold on to that feeling. This is a day to recharge our batteries and to have a memory for times when we need to remember who and what we are here to do. Thanks, everyone.